G'day, Luke from LeadSync here, and today I wanted to show you how to add Facebook lead ads into uh, Google Sheets. I've just got an example here of a client that we're working with, um, and it's called the Sandingham Yacht Club, and they do events, they do wedding events. So we've actually set up an inquiry, uh, an ad with an inquiry form, uh, so people can actually see this ad and then click on learn more and submit an inquiry. So I'm just gonna go through and show you the form for this. Um, so we click on learn more and you can see their um, preferred wedding date. So I want 20th of Jan, 2019, approximate guests uh, is 75. There's my email already pre-filled, uh, my first name, my phone number, and I click submit. Now, uh, they also have um, like a brochure that people can go then and download. So over on um, the over on the um, spreadsheet form. So this is one that was set up. Uh, basically, you want to set this up first before you set up uh, your ad. And you can see there, my details have literally just come through. Um, so when you're setting up your spreadsheet, make sure you have all the fields. That you have in your form uh, and i'll show you in a minute how you go about mapping those through lead sync so they come through here make sure submission date uh, is submission date uh, this is an automatic field uh, that gets pre that gets filled um, when someone submits an inquiry so just make sure that that field in particular is named exactly submission date now jumping into lead sync i'll show you how to set up this form so I'm just going to go into my LeadSync account, log in. Now the first thing that we want to do is to add a connection. Uh, and we want to add the Google Sheets as a, as a connection. So we'll go down, we'll find Google Sheets. Uh, now you get redirected uh, and basically you're asked for approval. Um, so I'm just going to hit go through that approval process. So that's just so LeadSync can submit um, those leads to your spreadsheet. Uh, and we're going to go um, Google Sheet Test, because we've actually already got this one set up. Update connection, select destination. Um, so the SYC leads list uh, is where We've already actually set this up, but I'm just going through the process again. So we've set up that connection. Now we go into lead forms and we click add Facebook lead form. Uh, we select a page. Uh, I have a number here, but we're going to go and find this for sending him your club events. Uh, select form. Uh, now which form am I using? I am using. We, we just want to make sure that we we connect to the right form. So that's the form that we're using. Uh, so I click on that one. Then I select the connection that I set up. And if you remember, it was Google Sheet Test. And now we get to map the fields. Um, select Sheet as well. Uh, so in this case, it's Sheet 1. Um, so you do have to select the sheet. And now we go through and we map the fields. Um, guest numbers, email, first name, phone number, submission date, uh, and, and then update notifications. Now I'm not gonna do this because we've actually already set up um, this previously, so it'll double up on the leads. Um, but that should give you a, a good insight into how you can um, basically submit your leads into a, a Google Sheet. I find this really handy for businesses that um, don't have a, a CRM installed. Uh, in this case, um, the, the staff at SYC can go and make a note when they followed it up and by who. Um, these are great because you can spread the, you can share these sheets uh, with other team members um, and basically keep a record of um, the submissions that you have. I hope you find that helpful uh, and good luck with your Facebook leads integration with Google Sheets.